Today I am going to work on cleaning up and finishing this page that we started in my live session. I'm really happy with how this page came out overall. It was a baseball, a summer baseball theme. The picture I used was another picture out of a child craft encyclopedia. This entire book that I am altering is a child craft, the How and Why Library. It is a 1974 edition. But I think that the pictures that I am putting in here that I have fussy cut came out of a 1964 edition. So I'm kind of combining the two. I'm trying to find photographs that may relate to the art. And this entire book is based on art. Landscapes and interpretive art. This is of Noah's Ark. Here is the one we did the week before. Well, it would have been last Friday. This page, I want to paint out this title at the table. And I want to write it better on here. I'm not really happy with that. And I'm thinking of another photo down here. So I will be doing more work on this page. I want to paint out the title here. I do love the red on here, the splash of red. But I was working on this live and I was standing up while I was trying to write with my fine line paint applicator. And even in my live session, I said I'm going to go back and redo this. So, and I like the idea of putting a border of a baseball stitching along the sides. But here again, I was working live and I'm not sure I'm really happy with it. I may come in and paint out a light blue line along here and do a more controlled baseball stitch. These are pretty fast and <laughs> furious. But overall, I'm really happy with the page. Now, this page went fast and we had a lot of fun doing it. I just had a lot of fun communicating with the people who came in to watch my live sessions. They gave me a lot of ideas and we finished the page. So what do we do? We weren't ready to quit yet. So I said, well, what am I going to do? Well, the suggestion was to draw a doily on your drop paper. <laughs> So I got out my fine line paint applicator where I haven't put the caps back on these yet and the nozzles need to be washed. So this is the doily, the, the faux tablecloth on my drop paper. And up here in this corner, right over here, I had my lamp setting so there's nothing in there. And so I'm going to go back in on this video. I'll do it in fast forward motion later. And I'm going to finish this table top. And I was looking at this green spot here that was part of when I was putting grass on my baseball field. And it annoyed me. It still annoys me. But I'm looking at it in the shape of a leaf. So I think that I will draw on here a flower a flower of course and put a flower on my tabletop now it will not be realistic but you'll have the graphic <laughs> design of it there I will say this may later be cut down the center so maybe I'll make a flower come this way and another stem come this way and I am after this all dries this dried overnight but after I work on it and it dries again, I will be turning this drop paper over. And so I'm going to work on the back of it, too. And you'll see that in a future video. You'll go, what happened to her, her doily tabletop? <laughs> but it was so fun to do this live. And it was so fun to get suggestions from the people who were watching the live session of what to do. This was really done at their suggestion. So I'm going to be playing around with this tabletop doily in this video too. All that said, 
I'm going to go into fast forward and work on my book and finish up my pages and work on this tabletop doily and when I'm all finished I'll come back and show you the results. I start by painting over the play ball journal spot and painting out the border of the page. I'm going to redo both of these elements on the page. I had done these during the live session and while I like them, they just I just wanted to enhance them a little bit more. Drying off the page, getting ready to redo that play ball journal spot. I just want the lettering a little bit more even and bold. And I think I cheated except for the last L. And I'll go back and fix that. Now I put a red line all around the border. And now I'm using my blue. This is just blue craft paint in the fine line paint applicator. And I am redoing what I call the baseball stitch marks and I feel that this just lends a whole baseball art theme to the page. Enhance it with black around the inside border then I get out the blue again and I will be enhancing those blue pinstripes. I fixed the L on the play ball there I'm enhancing the pinstripes again. I picked those off of the t-shirt and then I outline the outside border with the blue. I am going to redo the title on the very first art journal page. I dry it off with the heat gun and you can see that I'm going to rewrite the title at the table. I have a little picture that I want to add down in the lower left corner. Now I'm going to add some lacy marks up there in the right upper corner there where I couldn't do it because I had my lamp on and I decide that I want a flower on my drop paper so I add this big red flower and then I add another one in the lower the lower right hand corner and you'll see that even though these are red they're just too bold for me and if you look at the very last photograph at the end of the video you can see that I redid them and they are a pretty yellow now. 